my name's Rich Harrington, and I wanted to show you how you can bring in images from your photos for a Mac OS library into Luminar 3. First up, if you'd like to add images into Luminar 3, you'll need to do them with the import command, file, import images. A new dialog opens up, inviting you to navigate to the images that you want to import. In your side panel here, scroll until you locate media photos. You can now click on this and on the Mac operating system, you will see your aperture photos and photo booth library. Clicking on the disclosure triangle next to this allows you to see content that you've brought in. This would make it easier, for example, to see a specific project. And you can even mouse over these if there are multiple images contained within. The same holds true for the photos for Mac library. Let's make a little more room here. You'll notice that all of the organization is in place. So you can look at items such as moments in time, scrolling to a recent or past event, and you see that all of those are visible. Or deal with a particular collection that you've built. Look at content by year with the ability to quickly see all of that content and scroll through or take a look by geographic location. Notice, for example, I see some images here from a recent trip to the Ukraine. And when I find an image that I want to bring in, I can click and do so. Additionally, you'll see content that you've shared in the cloud or albums that you've made. When selecting an image, there are two things to note. First, when you choose content, you want to make sure to give it a second to become local to the computer. Remember, your Photos for Mac library may be stored in the cloud. So if you select images and they haven't locally synced to your computer, you'll need to be online in order to pull the images in. Additionally, you can select multiple photos while holding down the command key to do so. Then just click and specify where you want these to go. Choose a folder in your library as such, and then decide what you want to do. Technically, copy and move is going to be identical behavior. You'll notice here, for example, that the library just updated. This is because the Photos for Mac library synchronized and pulled down more images from the cloud. Then you can also decide if you want any additional organization applied or if you want to target something here. In this case, I'm going to say import these into one folder and choose import. You'll notice that they came into the selected folder. There they are. And I see them. If I want, I can create an additional subfolder here to make this a bit easier. And I'll call this Ukraine. Remember, it's easy to see content that you've recently added. In this case, I could just select all of these images here and move them into that particular subfolder for organization. Additionally, you might find yourself needing to rotate images like so. And you see that now I've got these images ready to move into my library. One thing of note when using the import command here with the Mac media browser, content is brought in as a JPEG. Native HEIC files that might be on the iPhone or any other content is going to be converted to JPEG before you import. If you have a lot of raw images or want to access original data, you can do so. In this case, what you'll want to do is select your Photos for Mac library, choose the content that you want to export, and choose File, Export, Export Unmodified Original Photos and this will take them in the original file format and put them into a new folder. That new folder can then be easily added or imported into your Luminar library. But in any case, the ability to choose File, Import Images, and then scroll to select the Photos area makes this a simple addition. In this case, I'm easily browsing images that I had in my Aperture library or in my Photos library and the ability to target and pick a particular set of images makes this super convenient. Now, with just a quick click, I'm able to select the images that I want to bring in, 
target their location. I'll put this in my to organize folder and click import. The images are now added. And as you see, a quick and easy addition, you can apply any presets or adjustments that you want, and then continue to move or drag the images into additional folders for organization on your library. When you do import from Photos from Mac, remember it is making a new copy of the media, so it is not actually handing off the original files. So if you ever need to go back to your Photos from Mac library, all of those images will still be there as well.